Well, have you ever met someone who just believes the world is on their side? As a matter of fact, I did today. <laughs> George Jellick has never been one to count his losses, only his blessings. I hate starting a story with numbers, but in a few days, George Jellick will turn 90. Most guys his age are, well, not doing between, here are more numbers, 15 and 22 haircuts a week. George credits his customers for keeping him at it. The guys like this guy here sit here. They've been coming to me for years. George's most famous regular is probably Bob Euchre. He's been cutting Euchre's hair since Mr. Baseball was playing Sandlot Ball. I got his bat, I got his catcher's mitt, I, I got his picture over there. So, guys like that, you stick around for a while, George. Like Uke, George Jellick likes to talk, so the two are given to teasing each other. Because you asked me one day, he said, when you're pulling the pin? I said, you got a lot of gall. When, when are you pulling the pin? He said, I'm not. I said, I'm not either. Jellick describes himself as having attention deficit disorder. He bombed out in school and joined the Navy during World War II. Since then, he says, he's lived a life filled with good fortune. This is one of the best occupations I could pick is barbering. Talk as much as you want, listen as much as you want, do as much as you want. And I love what I do, George. I really do. I've been blessed well. This blessed barber sees the world as a generous place. I've been lucky. I'm luckier than hell, I'll tell you. I, I did so many things bad. All the decisions I made, they turn out very, very well. I've been blessed man. That's his great-granddaughter there. Oh. I wanted some of that George Jellick attitude to rub off on me, so of course I sat down in George's chair to get just a little off the top. What a fascinating story. Yeah. I love that. Just positive and karma he, coming from the guy. He does not look 90 no, at not all. all. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>